Hello, you're watching Seven's Afternoon News live from Perth. I'm Natalia Cooper. Another police pursuit has ended in a crash a day after an innocent driver was killed in Dianella. This time it was the car police were chasing that lost control. Chantelle Tui is at the crash scene in City Beach. Thanks, Chantelle. 24 hours after... <coughs> 24 hours after Perth mother Sharon de Cole was killed and her teenage daughter injured, police are defending the split-second decision to chase a stolen car. The mother and daughter were in another car that was hit by the police vehicle. Police Commissioner Carlo Callahan says officers need to take care through red lights. For more on this issue, I'm joined now by Russell Armstrong from the police union. Russell, good afternoon. Can I ask first how the two officers involved in yesterday's fatal crash are? And the police commissioner says the pursuit policy will now be reviewed. What do you think of it as it currently stands? Do you think the current balance is right? Look, we've had... I guess, is catching a car thief worth a human life, Russell? OK, thanks for your time this afternoon, no, Russell. No worries, thank you. All right, that was Russell Armstrong there, the outgoing president of the police union. And police are still searching for the driver of the stolen Audi they were chasing when the crash happened. An alleged passenger was arrested last night and faced court today, charged with stealing a motor vehicle and criminal damage. The Audi was found burnt out yesterday afternoon. To other news now, Bob Brown has resigned as leader of the Australian Greens after 16 years in federal parliament. Prime Minister Julia Gillard has thanked him for his contribution, describing him as a man of integrity. Our political reporter Sarah Wiley has the details from Canberra. Julia Gillard only found out about Bob Brown's decision while she was meeting with state premiers. Despite predictions of a fiery COAG meeting, the premiers did find common ground with Julia Gillard. They've agreed on a new package on skills reform, but GST funding remains a sticking point. I'm not asking for an equal share, I'm simply asking for a fair share for Western Australia. Tasmania disagrees that the system is not broken. The leaders have agreed to work together towards introducing a national disability insurance scheme. North Korea launched its long-range rocket this morning. Defying international concerns, it's part of an attempt to develop an intercontinental missile that could reach Australia. The rocket disintegrated shortly after takeoff. Seven's Asia correspondent Adrian Brown reports from Seoul. Back to you. A young family has been involved in a serious car crash in the state south. The family car was towing a caravan when the vehicle lost control and hit a tree in Ravensthorpe. The Royal Flying Doctor Service transported the parents and their three young children to Perth. The father, his 10-year-old daughter and 6-year-old son all have serious injuries. Still to come on the afternoon news, finance with the West Australian's Neil Pryor. And putting his best foot forward, a breakthrough for sick WA police officer Ryan Marin. ANZ has announced it's again breaking ranks with the Reserve Bank and will increase its variable home loan interest rates by 0.06%. That's despite the RBA this month keeping official rates steady. With the rest of the day's finance news, here's the West Australian's finance reporter, Neil Pryor. Thanks, Neil. A WA police officer left paralysed by a mosquito bite has had a breakthrough during his rehabilitation in Chicago. 30-year-old Ryan Marin, who hasn't walked or spoken properly in a year, has climbed down a set of steps. It was captured on video at the world-famous Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago, where Constable Marin will be treated for the next few months. Ryan Marin spent three weeks in intensive care, three months in hospital, after contracting a rare mosquito-borne virus. A man has been killed, shot in the head in the car park of a Brisbane shopping centre. It's the second shooting in the area in 48 hours. Erin Edwards is following the story. Now here's Monica Koss with a look ahead at tonight's edition of Today Tonight. Thanks, Monica. After the break, a delivery driver causes chaos in Japan. And Noel Brunning with stories from regional WA. And delivering damage, including a fuel tanker that crashed and burned. A fuel tanker inferno has spread smoke across towns in the Great Southern. Noel Browning has the latest from the GWN7 News Studios. Thanks, Natalia. That's the latest from around WA. Natalia. 
A nine-year-old American boy has become a viral hit on YouTube after building a fully functioning games arcade from recycled cardboard boxes. The young entrepreneur has touched the hearts of thousands. Great story. After the break, I'll have the weather details and where you can find Perth's cheapest petrol. Another lovely April day for Perth and the weekend's looking much the same. Mostly sunny and 26 for both Saturday and Sunday. Monday will be fine but then there's the chance of a shower on Tuesday and a couple of showers about on Wednesday and Thursday. And that's all from the Perth News Desk for now but stay with us after the break. Mark Ferguson will have the rest of the afternoon news. Big step, big step, finish it. Good. Excellent.